Today we're going to interview Dr. Robert Perler, who's a great dentist in New Rochelle, New York. You get a lot of questions about dental implants, but I'd like your patients to know a little more about your background and the rat story. We're also going to focus on dental implants. <laughs> Go ahead. When I was an engineer at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, I was doing my master's thesis on finding a protocol to measure bone growth. Now that required two things, the methodology that I had to invent, which actually existed, but also I needed bones that grew very fast so we could measure them in short periods of time. That's where the rat came into being. Rat bones grow very quickly, so we were able to measure bone growth in rats. Once we got the methodology down pat, you moved to dog studies and determined ultimately those were extremely biocompatible materials. And does that allow dental implants to heal and stay inside our mouths? Yeah, they were very inert. They don't excite the immune system that much, and uh, that's what's used today. So I went into dentistry with the hopes of you know, placing dental implants and continuing engineering research, which I've done as well. So you're fairly unique and have been placing implants how long now? Close to 35 years. A lot of you had no idea that Dr. Perler is a biomedical engineer with many years of experience. That's very true. Uh, aren't your patients lucky? So they get both mm -hmm. your biomedical experience and your love of dentistry. Yes. And having become a patient of his with a successful implant placement of three implants and a bridge, I know how I felt when he was going to start working on me. And I was scared. I thought it was going to hurt. And one of the questions I said is, well, I want to know about your experience. How many implants have you placed? I would say today we've placed close to a thousand implants, Arlene, over the years uh, of all different kinds. The experience today is limited. Matter of fact, you can take a short course in a weekend or several weeks and be taught by a rep how to place an implant. But placing implants is something you learn over years of placing them. Every situation is very individual and it really matters how much pre-prosthetic planning that you do and pre-surgical planning you do to get a good outcome from the placement. Your expertise as a biomedical engineer has gone into your dentistry. When you look into somebody's mouth, you use that experience in addition to your dental experience to make a decision. A decision in determining what materials would be best for that individual and how to restore that mouth optimally using biomedical engineering principles. Implant procedures go well based on many factors and it's a matter of choosing optimal implants, optimal placements, and optimal bone. Now, I think that makes you rather unique. I don't know how many other dentists that I've seen have got that kind of background. I noticed that all of your Yelp, Facebook, and Google Plus letters speak about how highly technical you are, how pain-free you are. There's one in particular from a patient that was terrified, mature gentleman who wouldn't, has never come into a dentist and he now raves about you, that you helped him get rid of his dental phobia. Well, how do you take that step with a patient? When, they're, when they need dental work, they're already okay. in their 60s. And well, it's what kind of hard for me to blow my own horn. You know, I'm not that kind of person. However, most of my patients will tell me I'm extremely confident in what I do. I, I believe I'm very confident in what I do. And they sense this and they feel comfortable as a result of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for my beautiful implants. I understand how everybody feels. There's a lot of questions. I was worried. It was great. And I had a bridge placed with three teeth. That is correct. I love every bit of it. You have a great smile. Thank you. Any questions, call the office and Dr. Perler will be very happy to talk to you about his rap. Bye.